This video will give an overview of two typical installations of a pair of three-way switches or dimmers. Please be certain to follow all instructions and diagrams provided with the product. If the lights do not work properly, contact Leviton Technical Services for assistance. Be sure to use the correct gauge wire, and whenever working with exposed wires, make sure the power is off and use a voltage tester to confirm. Please note that the processes shown follow the National Electrical Code general guidelines, but local electrical codes take precedence. If you're unsure about any part of these instructions, or if you're not comfortable or familiar with working with electrical wiring, contact a licensed electrician. A typical three-way setup consists of two separate switches or dimmers, which we'll call devices from now on, that allow you to switch or dim a light fixture from two locations. For this video, we'll show the wiring of a DW6HD dimmer, a device from the Leviton Decora Smart Wi-Fi family of products. We'll also pair the DW6HD with a Leviton DDOOR-DLZ matching dimming remote. The DW6HD has all the communication and control capabilities and is considered the master device, while the DDOOR DLZ is the remote device. Both devices are electrically connected together by a traveler, which is a bundle of three wires called conductors, plus a ground wire, all in a single jacket. There is also a line wire, which is connected to the home's electrical panel, and a load wire, which is connected to the light fixture. The locations of the line and load wires within the wall boxes can vary, so we'll show two common wiring configurations. The same installation procedures can be used with a variety of Leviton devices, including Decora Smart, Decora Digital, Z-Wave, HomeKit, and Zigbee-enabled switches and dimmers. When you're installing these devices, you'll need the following tools on hand. A flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, a handheld voltage tester, and properly sized wire connectors. Please note the devices shown use screw terminals for the wiring connections. You may also see a strip guide to check that all the conductors are stripped to the correct length of 5 eighths of an inch. In some cases, the devices may use attached wires called leads. The colors of these leads match the names of the screw terminals and are installed the same way. The lead's colors will be yellow with a red stripe, black, white, red, along with a green ground wire. Installation is similar, except that you'll use wire connectors instead of screwing the wires to the device. To begin, you'll need to identify the type of wiring you have in each of your three-way wall box locations, which we'll call wall box A and wall box B. Assuming you're replacing existing devices, you'll need to remove the old devices to see your home's wiring. First, turn off the circuit breaker that powers the three-way devices. Starting at wall box A, remove the switch plate and unscrew the old device from the wall box. Carefully pull the device out until you clearly see the wires. Use the voltage tester to ensure that there is no power present in the box. Make sure you test all the wires in the box. Now go to wall box B and pull out the second device just enough to expose the wiring. Again, Use the voltage tester to make sure there's no power present. While the old devices are still connected, take pictures of the current wiring at both locations to refer to later if necessary. Go back to wall box A and carefully disconnect all the wiring from the old device and remove it. Straighten out and separate each wire so that you can clearly see them. Make sure that none of the exposed metal ends of the wires are touching each other. Next, go to wall box B, remove the old device, and straighten the wires again making sure that none of the wire ends are touching. Now it's time to identify the type of wiring that you have within the two wall boxes. This video will show the installation instructions for two different wiring configurations. If your wiring looks like this, you have configuration one. If your wiring looks like this, you have configuration two. If your wall boxes show this third configuration with just a traveler in one box, and a traveler and one additional jacketed wire bundle with two conductors plus a ground in the other box? Stop here. This configuration is missing a neutral conductor and will require installation by a licensed electrician. Use the pictures that you took to carefully reinstall the old devices and contact a licensed electrician. Before you begin, 
Confirm that the power is off to your devices. For wiring configuration 1, the first thing you'll notice is that the wiring within each wall box may look similar, but, as we'll show you, some wires serve different purposes within each wall box. The easiest to identify is the traveler. This is a bundle of wires that's in both wall boxes. The traveler has three conductors, a white, a black, and a red, plus a bare copper ground wire, all in a single jacket. You'll also see another bundle of wires in each wall box, consisting of two conductors, a white and a black, plus a bare copper ground wire, all in a single jacket. Now we'll need to find out which wall box is the master location, with the load wire going to the light fixture, and which is the remote location, with the line wire going to your home's electrical panel. Do one last check to make sure that no wires are touching, and turn the circuit breaker back on to restore power. Using the voltage tester, start at wall box B and test all the wires. None of the conductors from the traveler bundle should be energized, but in this case the black conductor from the two conductor bundle is energized, which means you found the line wire that's connected to your electrical panel. That makes wall box B our remote location. Turn off the circuit breaker, screw a wire connector on top of the black conductor that was energized, and place a small electrical tape flag on it so you know that it's the line wire. Now turn the power on at the circuit breaker again, go to wall box A, and use the voltage tester to test all the wires. Again, none of the conductors from the traveler bundle should be energized. And in this case, the black conductor from the two conductor bundle is not energized, which means that this is the load wire that goes to the lighting fixture. That makes wall box A the master location. Turn off the circuit breaker again, and you can proceed to install the new devices. We'll start with installing the new master device in wall box A. In this case, it's a Leviton DW6HD Decor Smart Dimmer. On the back, you'll see four screw terminals, labeled BK, WH, RD, and YL RD, along with a green ground screw. Start by connecting the two bare copper ground wires together with a third short length of copper wire. This short wire is called a pigtail, and it's used to make the ground connection to the device. Straighten the end of the copper wire and slide it under the green ground screw. Continue to push the ground conductor into the slot above the ground screw. The slot will hold the wire as you tighten the screw. Now take the black conductor from the traveler and connect it to the BK terminal by sliding it under the terminal plate and firmly tightening the screw. Next, connect the red conductor from the traveler and attach it to the YL RD terminal. Then connect the black conductor from the load wire to the RD terminal. And finally, find both white conductors, one from the load bundle and one from the traveler bundle, and connect both to the WH terminal. Notice that the screw terminal is designed to accommodate two conductors. Now let's install the remote device in wall box B. In this case, we're installing a Leviton DD00R DLZ matching dimming remote. On the back, you'll see three screw terminals, labeled BK, WH, and YLRD, and a green ground screw. Start by pigtailing the two bare copper wires and firmly attaching the end of the pigtail to the green ground screw on the device. Now, connect the red conductor from the traveler to the YL RD terminal. Next, take the two black conductors, one from the traveler and one from the line wire, and connect them both to the BK terminal. Finally, take the two remaining white conductors and connect them both to the WH terminal. With the wiring of both devices complete, install the new devices back into their wall boxes. Carefully position all the wires to provide room for the device as you install it into the wall box. Ensure that the word top is facing up on the device, then screw it in and attach the switch plate. Now let's test the installation to make sure everything is wired correctly. First, restore power at the circuit breaker. Then press the top of one device's paddle switch to turn the light on, then turn it back off. Test the other location and confirm the lights turn on, off, and if you've installed a dimmer, they dim correctly. If everything works as expected, congratulations! Your three-way installation for wiring configuration 1 is now complete. 
If the lights do not work properly, refer to the troubleshooting section of the provided instructions or contact Leviton Technical Services for assistance. Before you begin, confirm that the power is off to your devices. For wiring configuration 2, the wiring within each wall box will look different. In wall box A, you'll see three bundles of wires. The traveler has three conductors, a white, a black, and a red, plus a bare copper ground wire, all in a single jacket. The second bundle has two conductors, a white and a black, plus a bare copper ground wire, all in a single jacket. And the third bundle looks identical to the second and also has two conductors, a white and a black, plus a bare copper ground wire, all in a single jacket. This is the master location. Wall box B will contain just the traveler bundle with three conductors, a white, a black, and a red, plus a bare copper ground wire, all in a single jacket. This is the remote location. Go back to wall box A so you can find out which of the two two-conductor bundles has the black load conductor going to the light fixture and which has the black line conductor going to your home's electrical panel. Separate the wires from the two two-conductor bundles as far as possible and do one last check to make sure that no wires in either wall box A are touching. Turn the circuit breaker back on to restore power. Using the voltage tester, carefully test every wire. None of the conductors from the traveler bundle should be energized, but one black conductor within one of the two conductor bundles will be energized. This is the line conductor that's connected to your electrical panel. The black conductor from the other two conductor bundle is not energized, so this is the load conductor that goes to the lighting fixture. Turn off the circuit breaker. Screw a wire connector on top of the black conductor that was energized and place a small electrical tape flag on it so you know that it's the line conductor. Now turn power on at the circuit breaker again, go to wall box B, and use the voltage tester to test all the wires. Confirm that none of the conductors from the one traveler bundle are energized. Then turn the power off at the circuit breaker again, and you're ready to install your new devices. We'll start with installing the new master device in wall box A. In this case, it's a Leviton DW6HD Decor Smart Dimmer. On the back, you'll see four screw terminals labeled BK, WH, RD, and YLRD, along with a green ground screw. Start by connecting the three bare copper ground wires together with a fourth short length of copper wire. This short wire is called a pigtail, and it's used to make the ground connection to the device. Straighten the end of the copper wire and slide it under the green ground screw. Continue to push the ground wire into the slot above the ground screw. The slot will hold the wire as you tighten the screw. Now take the black conductor from the load wire and connect it to the RD terminal by sliding it under the terminal plate and firmly tightening the screw. Next, connect the red conductor from the traveler and attach it to the YLRD terminal. Now pigtail together the three white conductors, one from the load bundle, one from the line bundle, and one from the traveler bundle and connect the end of the pigtail to the WH terminal. And finally, connect both black conductors, one from the line bundle and one from the traveler bundle, and connect both to the BK terminal. Notice that the screw terminal is designed to accommodate two conductors. Now let's install the remote device in wall box B. In this case, we're installing a Leviton DD00R DLZ matching dimming remote. On the back, you'll see the three screw terminals, labeled BK, WH, and YLRD, along with a green ground screw. All the wires within wall box B are coming from the three conductor traveler bundle. First, firmly connect the bare copper wire to the green ground screw on the device. Now, connect the red conductor to the YLRD terminal. Next, take the black conductor and connect it to the BK terminal. Finally, take the white conductor and connect it to the WH terminal. With the wiring of both devices complete, install the new devices back into their wall boxes. Carefully position all the wires to provide room for the devices as you install it into the wall box. Ensure that the word top is facing up on the device, then screw it in and attach the switch plate. Now let's test the installation to make sure everything is wired correctly. First, restore power at the circuit breaker. Then press the top of one device's switch paddle to turn the light on. 
then turn it back off. Test the other location and confirm the lights turn on, off, and if you've installed a dimmer, they dim correctly. If everything works as expected, congratulations! Your three-way installation for wiring configuration 2 is now complete. If the lights do not work properly, refer to the troubleshooting section of the provided instructions or contact Leviton Technical Services for assistance.